And good evening, everybody. Chief Meteorologist Patrick Big B. Let's go ahead and talk about your tropical update for this evening, brought to you by Eddie Pearson Roofing. Let's go ahead and show you things, what's going on across South Mississippi uh, or across the Atlantic this evening. Uh, and as you can see, we're watching that one system off the coast of the Carolinas. This right here was potential tropical system number 16. It got upgraded to a tropical storm today. And that gave it the name Ophelia. So uh, as of the 4 o'clock advisory, 32.9 north, 76.3 west, which puts it about 120 miles southeast of Cape Fear, North Carolina. Uh, and this is really intensified throughout the afternoon. And as you can see, it's a strong tropical storm. Winds are at 70. It's moving northwest at about 13 miles per hour. Pressure has dropped to 986 millibars. And you can see that big rain shield impacting all of coastal North Carolina this evening, including the Outer Banks, Pamlico Sound, Basically, from Cape Fear, Wilmington, Moorhead City, New Bern, uh, Hatteras, all the way up to uh, Kill Devil Hills, uh, even into areas such as Duck, Southern Shores, and even into Elizabeth City. So, uh, they're all getting a lot of heavy rain tonight from this system. Uh, tropical storm warnings in effect for all of the North Carolina coast and even up into the Virginia coast, uh, and even into Chesapeake Bay areas as well, all the way up to Chincoteague. Uh, to the north so uh, they're expecting tropical storm force winds in those areas tonight the storm is expected to make landfall uh, after midnight about one to two o'clock in the morning it then will move across the eastern north carolina saturday afternoon weakening as it does so and then it'll lose all of its tropical characteristics and move through virginia washington dc area and into maryland as we go into sunday so there's where all that heavy rain with the system will go as you can see the center right on the north carolina virginia border by tomorrow afternoon and then it moves north. Deeper into the Atlantic, we're out into the middle parts of the Atlantic. And this right here is Invest 90L. The Hurricane Center is now giving this a high chance, 90% chance of development. And this will most likely uh, develop, move westward, and then get curved off towards the north. As it does so, it'll move around an area of high pressure. That'll keep it out into the open waters of the Atlantic for the most part. We'll still watch it nonetheless. There could be another little wave trying to develop behind it as we go into next week. But this system will most likely get the name Philippe. Uh, since Ophelia has now been named, uh, but that now leaves us with only six names left on the Atlantic Hurricane season list. So we then have Philippe, Rena, Sean, Tammy, Vance, and Whitney. We'll see how much further we can get down that list. But we are beginning to come back down now into the last week of September. Uh, we do expect to see the overall activity begin to decrease. But we can still see some very healthy storms uh, into the month of October. Case in point, Hurricane Opal in 95, Hurricane Michael in 2018. Uh, there are plenty of notable October storms that can still happen. So October usually is a month we watch like a hawk.